Welcome to Atmos 5000 Day 3. We're going to be focusing in on Chapter 1, Section 1.6. We're mostly going to be looking at the ideal gas law today, but before we do that, we're going to define intensive and extensive properties of thermodynamic variables, and we'll see how those uh, can be modified in order to make the ideal gas law more useful for atmospheric scientists. Specifically, we're going to be uh, developing an ideal gas law specifically for dry air, specifically for water vapor, and specifically for moist air, which is a combination of dry air and water vapor. We're also going to be introducing the concept of virtual temperature, uh, which can be used to further modify the ideal gas law and make it even more useful. The summary of the ideal gas law equations that we've covered so far, uh, the first one is the generic ideal gas law, which you learned in chemistry, PV equals N R star T, where N is the number of moles, R star is the universal gas constant, and T is temperature. Uh, we also have defined the specific volume as 1 over the density. And then we have the ideal gas law for dry air. PD alpha D is equal to the specific gas constant for dry air RD times T. And then we have the ideal gas law for water vapor, which is E, which is your water vapor pressure, times alpha V, which is the specific volume of the water vapor is equal to R sub V, which is the specific gas constant for water vapor, times temperature. And putting it all together, we have Dalton's law of partial pressures, which says that our total pressure is equal to the pressure of the dry plus the pressure of the water vapor. And then we have the most useful form of the ideal gas law for moist air, which says that the total pressure times the specific volume of the total mixture is equal to the gas constant for dry air times the virtual temperature, and we've defined the virtual temperature as a, a temperature adjustment uh, that would make the density of the air parcel correct uh, for using the dry gas constant. And the virtual temperature, 1 plus A, which is a constant, times R, which is the mixing ratio, the water vapor mixing ratio, which is defined down below here as well. 